conductor he conducts energy he knows how to pull energies out of us and also bring them back so we feel better about ourselves <laughs> When I was in St. Edwards, I was taking a class, and for extra credit, they asked us to go hear a Chican Indio speak. And I said, Chican Indio, you know, wow, an elder. So I wasn't more, you know, so going for, for extra credit. I was like, I want to know who this man is. And I remember my first encounter with him. He was, he was there speaking about um, Leonard Peltier, himself, Resistencia. He read a poem. And I just remember just staring at him like, who is this man? <laughs> you know, he had his braids with the liston, and he had his Leonard P free Leonard Peltier t-shirt on, and his, uh, I think his red bandana over his shoulder. I had never heard a, an, an elder man of, of my skin color and of my race um, be so proud of where he comes from and be so proud of who he was and, and be so poetic about it. So he has that knack of being a teacher, of, of, of being an educator. Very engaging. He wants to engage students. It's not about lecturing or letting people know. It's about what, do we, what can we pull out of each other so we can all learn and engage together. First, he has to see who his people are, who are the youth that we're working with, because he's going to have a different strategy, right? So he works with the detention center youth, and some of them could be vato locos, you know, street gang members, and they know all the cuss words, they know all the lingo, and they, they know they can fly that stuff at other people, but with Raul, he's like, uh-uh because he can sling it back at them. So right there, they're like, respect. We had this beautiful relationship and he said, bring your poetry over, I want to look at all of it. So I bring what you want, Let's bring what you want. And one time, I was so nervous because I didn't know what he was going to say. And I just handed it over to him and he was just like, looking at it. Didn't say anything, he was just like, Mm -hmm. And the one that he liked the most was the shortest one. He said that that, that poem, he said, he's like, that poem, he's like, I really like. The story that cannot be rephrased or stolen. When a survivor emerges and reaches out his hand to little chicanitas like me, to la resistencia y la poesía de las calles, y la comunidad. Eso es sobrevivir. That is real survival and a gift of life. To tell, to change, to heal, to recount what happened in our struggles. Y siempre pasar la palabra. Y siempre pasar la palabra. Today, today, today. Tell your story to survive. And know you have the power to change how the story ends, con resistencia y plena dignidad. 